Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new in my channel, hi, I am Maisha. Welcome to my channel. Hope you hit the subscribe button so you can join my channel and watch my videos. It's free so <laughs> that's no harm in it so today's tutorial i'm going to be reviewing this elegar pro coverage hd longwear illuminating foundation i got my shade in warm beige so so if you guys wanna see how this foundation looks on my skin and what are my thoughts on this foundation then keep on watching this foundation to me looks like exactly makeup forever foundation as you can see the packaging is pretty good except the silver part right here this elegar pro coverage has same pump on it too like very slick <laughs> packaging and it claims pro coverage hd longwear illuminating foundation so that's why i'm really excited to try this i got my shade in warm beige so this foundation says it has medium to full coverage smooth long wearing flawless looking finish since it claims long wearing foundation i'm going to wear this to my gym as well like my l'oreal infallible total cover foundation i want to see if this is a dewy foundation i have really bad experience with dewy foundation so i'm not about the dewy kind of looks but since it says high definition foundation and long wearing so i want to see how it goes on to the face as you can see makeup forever ultra hd foundation claims hd too so i feel like this too has really different finish because this is really dewy this is like satin finish it's not a dewy foundation so yeah feels really air light on the face so that's why i really love this foundation so let's try this out i've seen some people's review on it and they really liked it let's see how it looks on my skin as you can see it's running down my hand pretty like quickly so you can see from that that it's going to be really dewy foundation like really light It might be a little bit yellow for me but let's see if we can work with it so my left side I'm going to blend it out with real technique sponge right side of my face with a brush obviously to see how it works I prime my skin with benefit professional primer forgot to show it on my video so sorry for that you can see it's a really dewy foundation edit as it claims so i'm really liking it but i don't know for long wearing how it will look if i might look very shiny <laughs> throughout the day but let's see i'm going to wear this to gym today too so hopefully it will stay right side of my face i'm going to use this real techniques expert face brush i really like this face brush it works really well with dewy foundation that's why i'm using it today zoom you guys a little bit so you will see how it looks on my skin as you can see it blend out really well with these four tools i don't see any dark spots peeking through except this one i don't know why i can't cover this spot with any foundation it looks weird so yeah minus that but as you can see this both side looks same to me i don't know which one i like more but i'm really liking both sides so yeah that's like i don't know what to say but i'm really liking both sides it blended out really well and it's looking really dewy so <laughs> i'm pretty much impressed with this foundation right now so i'm going to finish my full face and i will be right back 
So I did my full face off camera. I like how this foundation is looking right now. Everything blend out really well. It looks really smooth surface. I will wear this foundation to the gym. So I will see if I get really oily throughout the day if I'm working out or anything. So as right now I am really liking this foundation and I don't know if I forget to mention this but this is $10 foundation. I'm like so impressed how can a $10 foundation look so good on the face. Most of the time they like really impress me so yeah. As I like L'Oreal Total Cover Foundation, I hope I really like this foundation too. I didn't set my face with any setting powder or Maybelline powders, anything. I just set my T-zone with this yellow shade from Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. That is it for right now. It's, it's 5.51 right now, so I will check back in later after my gin, so you will see how this foundation is holding up sorry that i started this video so late i was so busy see you guys after my gym so i'm back from the gym it has been five hours i think it's 9 14 right now i was in the zumba class and it was so hard but I had fun also because I love to dance. So as you can see, I look perfect. I sweat a little bit, but not a big deal. I feel like my foundation didn't came off or anything. The one thing I don't like is this foundation feels a little bit sticky on the face. I think it's because of the dewy, obviously. But I don't see any pores peeking through. A little bit oily over here just because I have combination skin, as you know. So yeah, that's why maybe I'm getting a little bit oily on my forehead but other than that i'm really loving this foundation i'm going to give this foundation 9 out of 10 just because i don't like the stickiness if i powder my whole face maybe the stickiness will go away i didn't powder myself before just the t-zone so that's why maybe so yeah that is it for my video hope you guys enjoyed this review please like my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye